Hello crafty friends and welcome to video six in our using up your white paper scraps video series. This is the last episode in the series for now. I shall, I'm sure return to this at a later date. Yet again, I'm going to tape together my white paper scraps to turn them into one big sheet of paper that I can jazz up. We're going to do some more smushing today. I've got squeezed lemonade here, but instead of my regular smusher, I'm using my bubble wrap smusher. I just need to make sure that's clean. I'll squirt some water on my distress oxide and then pick up the colour with my bubble wrap smusher. I want to get a bit of each colour. I'm using squeezed lemonade peacock feathers and picture raspberry today. And before I put the next layer on, I want to dry it because I want to keep the layers fairly separate. I don't want the colors to mix and mingle too much. And now I think some picture raspberry. that's enough picked raspberry again I'm gonna dry it and now for some peacock feathers I've got three stamps here each with a circular element to it and I'm going to stamp one in each color so I use this one for the picked raspberry and dot that around Putting some on each bit of paper. This one I think I'll do in yellow, in the squeezed lemonade. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up, but it will be there. And now I've got this little strip of circles that look a bit like bubbles and I'll use the peacock feathers for that. When you're doing a mixed media type grungy look thing like this, it doesn't matter if you get perfect or imperfect stamped impressions, especially when you're cutting things down just about getting colour and pattern and visual texture on your paper. Right, I'm happy with that. I will bring in some black, I think, because when I do something really bright like this, I like to bring in some black to really contrast heavily with all the colour that's going on. But I will do that when I've decided what I'm going to cut this down into so I can be strategic about where I place the black elements. Right, I can take that apart now. So I think with the larger bits of paper, I'm going to use this rectangle die to die cut out some rectangles, funnily enough. I'll just place the rectangles where I think I get the best collection of pattern and colour. So out of that, I've managed to cut nine rectangles, which I think is a good harvest. Next, I'm going to mount each rectangle onto some black cardstock and then trim them out to give them a thin black board around the outside to start to bring in some of that contrast. So I'm going to work on just one now, otherwise we'll be here forever if I show you how I do every single one, but the same principles will apply. I've got a stamp here that is, it looks like a, a rough and ragged paint stripe. If you haven't got a stamp like this, you could just paint on some black. But I just enjoy using stamps, so that's what I do. So I'm going to put three. I think, or two there maybe, and one coming in up here to create a bit of a diagonal, maybe an extra one there. And we could put like that, three and a two, or maybe one more there. 
yes I like that and as that's quite a small panel I don't want to add much more to it I think it would overwhelm it this is a four by six inch ish card blank and I could put this up here I could put it in the middle I could put it down here over here I could have this landscape like that or like that or in a corner so there's all sorts of ways of adding this to a panel i quite like it in the middle there so i think that's what i'm going to do for now once i finish filming this video i will make up the rest of the cards and uh, come back and show you what they look like for my sentiment, I've chosen a thank you stamp. It's a grungy label with thank you already in it, which I think will work well. And I'm using another paper scrap to stamp it on. So I've trimmed that out and I'm going to stick it on, but I want to give it a layer of card behind it just to give it a bit of lift but not as much as if I were to use foam tape and I think that will sit quite nicely just hanging off the side there and here I've got some mini enamel dots these are the only enamel dots I have now and I want to get them used they're not quite the same colors as the Distress oxides, but they're close enough. And I think I'll just dot a few in each colour around the place, maybe in a diagonal like that. There, I think that'll do. I'm happy with that. I am going to go and make some more cards, so do stick around for a couple more minutes and I'll show you what I've made. Okay, so I have finished my cards. I did have to throw away one of my rectangles because I left a wet baby wipe sitting on top of it and it got destroyed so we're down one card but never mind we still got plenty so that was the one that i made for you i did a few more portrait ones so i've done this one with the rectangle up here and to add the black stamping on i used i think it was this splatter circle ring stamp and just did one coming in from there and there and I think that adds a nice pop of contrast again added the enamel dots I did another one in this corner here and used a splat stamp to add one two three splats and they act like anchors there's one two three points of uh, black or high contrast on here so your eye bobbles around the card and I put the sentiment here next to this black dot because it sort of works in the visual triangle this one I put the rectangle to the right and in the middle and I use this ring grungy ring stamp again I did a bit of a diagonal I do like a diagonal design and I chose to put this one here because this pink scribbly circle is in the middle of this rectangle so i thought if i put that in the middle of this card then it will sit in the middle and i can then put the sentiment nestled within this little ring here in the middle in that direction and that direction so i think that works and for this one instead of putting my rectangle in a portrait fashion i put it landscape in the top half for the black marks, I used this paint swipe stamp. I didn't put the sentiment on the visual triangle this time. I left those be because this is filling up most of the card in this direction and it kind of forces your eye to the middle anyway. So that's a nice pop of black and white in the middle of all that colour. Then I did some in a landscape. So for the black on here, I used this square splatty frame and decided to put this over on this side so that I could snuggle a sentiment in this bit of this frame here. And I love the way this turned out. I think this might be my favourite or second favourite, I think. So we've got this diagonal going on, which is, again, as I say, one of my favourite kind of designs. 
I thought this needed a bit of a longer sentiment as well so that it stuck out further and didn't get lost amongst all this frame here. For this one I put the rectangle in the middle in a landscape fashion and used this splat stamp to put splats here and here and I think this actually is my favourite so I think this is my favourite, this is my second favourite because of the splat stamps. I think they bring in tons of energy, which I really like. I did decide to put the sentiment over to the right hand side so that it sat on this pink scribbly circle. And for my last card, I used the two thin paint swipe stamps to add two up here and four down here, again with the diagonal and added the sentiment in that diagonal too along with the enamel dots right that's eight cards from this video and that's this video finished and this white scraps series finished for now i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's given you lots of ideas and i hope you'll join me tomorrow on the first of july for the first in our not just christmas in july videos right i will see you very soon thanks for watching bye for now